Hey, hey, come on in this room, honey. It is time for the divine message for the collective. I am Tiara Sade. I am so excited to share this message with you, honey. This is going to be about love. I'm telling you right now, it's about love. I feel it. Some songs were coming in and I'm just like, who is in love? Who is in love and wants you to be in love with them? Or maybe it's mutual. I don't know. But there was a lot coming in, y'all. And um, I think I'm going to pull some cards for this message. I'm actually like reshuffling them right now. Um, so yeah, there was, there was just a lot of messages coming in. Somebody is in love with you y'all and it's that's been coming in for like a while now definitely several months now but like the past couple of weeks it's been coming in like heavy so i'm i gave a couple messages about many of you are getting married or you're going to come in contact with the person that you're going to marry soon you may have met the person that you're going to marry already um but maybe it hasn't progressed. Like, take what resonates in your situation, too. Please don't make this message fit. Like, and if you don't think this is you, don't leave it in the comments section, okay, honey? It's probably somebody else's story. And, you know, if it's not your message, just mind your business, honey. Mind your business and move around, all right? So, um, wow. For some of you, this is coming after a time of, um, I feel like your love interest or the person who's interested in you, they could be having a tough time cutting out toxic tendencies and toxic people and um, low vibrational energy. They could have a lot of addictions. They absolutely could be focusing on their health, their wellness, um, whether that's like herbs, medical treatments, or they're working out. But someone is wanting a new beginning with you for many of you this like i said this is somebody that you know you could have cut off or you could have broken up with them it could be an ex but they definitely want um a new beginning with you they want um more from you i just heard that somebody wants more from you so if they see you around this person wants to talk to you if they talk to you they want to hold you if they hold you honey all right, look, somebody, <laughs> somebody really wants to uh, get to know you. I want to get to know you. Um, that's coming on. Somebody could be like on your job or maybe you worked on a few projects with this person. Um, there's some sort of collaboration that's going on. Maybe they want to collaborate with you, but I feel like for many of you, this is a colleague, um, a fellow freelancer or something like that. There's also something like familiar, but also similar in your career path or in your, um, or your purpose. I feel like you and this person have similar purposes or maybe your soul tribe or, um, or by soul tribe, I mean, maybe you come from the same star system. There's something that's very similar with you all i feel like you could have turned down somebody's love proposal or someone is not making it known how they genuinely truly feel about you because they feel like you're going you're going to reject them also somebody does feel like they're not good enough for you for whatever reason maybe it's the lifestyle they they live living with the life i chose um shout out to that song but um, something about their lifestyle or where they've come from, what they've been through, they feel like you might be better than them or they feel like you feel that you're better than them. For some of you, I don't think that's how you feel. Um, for others of you, you're mutually attracted to this person. You could find them beautiful or handsome or... Um, you, you love them just as much as they love you. They love you just as much as you love them. There's something there. I wish you loved me. What's that song? Hearing your name. Hearing your name. 
it'll come to me what that song is. It's coming to it's coming to my mind, y'all. Uh, it'll come to me. Y'all know that song. If you know the song, put it in the comments below. All right, but let's let's pull a couple cards now. I think I'm all shuffled. I shuffled so much because I really just wanted to get the energy. Somebody loves you. Somebody really loves you. And I've been singing all day. I've been singing all day. I don't know if you were singing today. Um, um, and today is Sunday, y'all. I don't know if you've been singing all day, listening to music all day while you clean the house or just vibing. I don't know. You might be a musician. You might be a vocalist. Yeah, so Knight of Wands, huh? Okay. All right, all right. So there's a couple things I'm getting with this. Somebody is literally, they're wanting to be on their way to tell you how they feel about you. Hang on, y'all. So many different things. Okay, yeah, there's so many different storylines for y'all. It's just like, whoa, okay. Somebody wants to approach you and tell you how they really feel about you. I don't know if they were hiding it or they were downplaying it or um, maybe they just didn't have the opportunity. It wasn't the right timing, but they want to tell you how they really feel. Remember the last message I gave, one of the videos I op uploaded, it was kind of like, I just want to be honest. I just want to be honest. Yeah, the, the um, your divine lover is is going through spiritual attacks that message somebody just wants to be honest with you i feel like they've been hiding how they feel for so long wow yeah see they've been hiding how they feel for so long they, they could have felt like it wasn't the right time or they needed to get more more guidance um they also could have been delayed i don't feel like any there's a like I don't feel like there's a delay. Everything is divine timing. But they could feel delayed for various reasons. I feel like they could have been, you know, they could have been an F boy or an F girl, y'all. They could have been, you know, um, they like the Tharishas a little bit. You know, they like to, to, to play around. They like to <laughs> travel the streets. They put the streets, some of them, and they retired now. Now that they're retired, they see you as a hot item or they see that, well, maybe it's time to give to this person or present myself to this person in a romantic way. Because somebody loves you. Mm. I'm just getting so much information y'all okay and some of it is kind of like private to some of you mm. somebody has made a decision on you Ooh, baby <laughs> somebody is plotting on you I'm gonna tell it I'm gonna tell you right now they plotting on you, honey. They they feel like they've made a final decision. They thought about it. Wow. They thought about it. Remember in the last message, I was saying how they could have consulted family or like a counselor, um, someone in their circle who is wise and able to give them some sort of direction. And they've made a final decision that you are the person that they want or you bring them the most happiness, or they're able to, to have the things that they need in life with you, okay? Also, somebody was living the fast life. I'm telling you, they were living the fast life, and it feels like the divine had to, like, sit them down and talk to them and be like, okay, you're out here wilding, all right? Get it together. Um, and for some of them, this could have been an actual person letting them know, like, yeah, you're out here wilding. Um, it could have been you. Right? Because like I was saying before, this person feels like you turned them down or you broke up with them or something like that. 
And yeah, it's just like they feel that you've made a decision to not be with them and that breaks their heart too. Okay. They really love you. <laughs> I'm like in a daydream right now, y'all. This is a lot. All right. What else do you have? Yeah, they want to reach out to you. You're going to receive a message from this person whether it's telepathically or in the physical. Some of y'all need to be mindful because, wow. Hang on. Some of them, you know, they're literally leaving situations, um, like I said, that were toxic. Somebody also wants to spoil you. They, they want to give you the world. They want to give you the things that they know that you deserve. They may not feel like, and look, wow. Ten of Pentacles. Sorry if it's, it's a glare, huh? They may not feel like um, they're able to provide you with that. But see, somebody does love you though. Ace of Cups. Somebody loves you. I feel like somebody's gonna tell you. Somebody could tell you too that they, they they divorced someone or they broke up with someone. Somebody also wants to move in with you or they want to like provide for you, take care of you, man or woman, it doesn't really matter. You know, they wanna provide whatever it is that they can to you. I feel like someone is watching you and they're just, someone is really fascinated by you too. I feel like, how you look or how you sound, your voice, your whole entire personality, your aura. Somebody is really in love with you and they watch you. They're praying and hoping that they can have this life with you or a new start, a fresh start, a new beginning with you. Okay. Wow. This message is coming in, y'all. Oof, I have my legs. You know, we have your legs Indian style for too long. Oof, ciao. <laughs> um, somebody wants to come in and offer you something. Like I said, a fresh start, a new beginning, a gift. Somebody legit wants to marry you. I've been, y'all, that's, how many messages have we done and that's been coming in? Somebody dead ass, <laughs> dead ass. Like you're so East Coast. Um, somebody really, truly wants to merge with you. If this is not romantic, this is business partnership. Somebody really sees your life. They really see that you're a star or that you bring a lot to the table. Sorry, y'all. They really see that you bring a lot to the table and they want to build with you. Somebody wants to invest in you. They want to build a family. They also want you to, to remember the good times. See, I feel like some of you, you know this person. Like, remember the good times. Like, remember when we laughed and laughed and laughed. Remember when we hung out. Remember when we went out on the boat. Like, yeah. Somebody is reminiscing about you. And they want you to remember those good times as well. And I feel like it's so that when they do come back, look. So when they do come back, they're victorious. Somebody wants to win you. They feel like you're the prize. And they want to win you. And they're literally plotting. They're literally plotting on how to win you back. Somebody is practicing an apology or like what to do. What to buy you or what to say to you. Someone is very sweet. Like, you have different energies here. The one I'm picking up right now, someone is, like, genuinely at, in their heart. They're a sweetheart. They want to show you their heart. 
Like maybe they showed you the player or maybe they showed you like the in and out type of energy. But right now it's like they want to show you stability, I heard. They want to show you that they can be um, more than just your friend. Yeah, somebody wants to be more than just your friend. I wish you loved me. Shout out to Tanisha Kelly. <laughs> Got it. Tanisha Kelly, baby. Where's she at? I didn't really know back then. But right now I'm totally sure. <laughs> Y'all. My voice is sore, too. I've been singing and talking all day, y'all. Ugh, I can't even talk. Yeah, see, King of Swords came out again. Somebody, honestly, I'm getting that they're worried that when they do come in, that you're going to cut them off, that you're going to cuss them out, that you're going to lean into them, like, hold up. Like, where you been? What you've been doing? I don't get it. I don't get why it's taking you this long to present yourself to me. <laughs> Some of y'all are very, um, like how my word choice was to present yourself to me. Some of y'all are very um, regal, I heard. You have a regal energy, a regal aura, godly. So some of these, <laughs> someone could absolutely absolutely be nervous about approaching you because of your energy and how regal you are and how authoritative you come across even if you're gentle in energy um you know they're they they wonder about that like there's something about you you're intimidating to this person i feel like you're intimidating to this person because they care about you so much or they admire you or you inspire them you inspire somebody. Somebody is dead ass in love with you. You're everything that they want. And some of the things that they're kind of like, oh, I don't know. I don't know why he does that. You know, whatever that is, those little things, they're like, no, I could, I could still make it work with them. Like, I know they chew with their mouth open, but I love them. <laughs> somebody loves you. Somebody genuinely loves you. You're their happiness. They love you. How sweet. I, I honestly, y'all, I honestly, truly feel like somebody is going to let you know that they care about you. It's so sweet. And, you know, it's interesting how I'm giving this message. It's like the divine wants me to be strategic how I give it because, um, It's kind of like, like protect, protect it. There's something very sacred about it. It's not secret, it's sacred. There's something very sacred, okay? Hmm, wow. Somebody wants everything with you because we, we see the Ten of Pentacles and we see the Ten of Cups. They want everything with you. I feel like some of you could have been dealing with like a, um, a con man. There's also like a gold digger energy, man or woman, right? There's a gold digger energy. Wow, we have Justice and you have the Nine of Pentacles too. Wow. Yeah, so I feel like somebody sees you being a boss or an entrepreneur or getting it how you live or looking good and shining bright and that your your confidence is what makes this person really want you and want to be with you you're and you're different you're completely different than what they're used to i feel like this person is almost like at a breaking point where they can't take it anymore they've been hiding how they feel for so long that they just can't take it anymore somebody is manifesting you too I was getting that before, but especially as I'm seeing that magician card, it doesn't always mean that, but somebody has been manifesting you. Somebody also outside of this energy or maybe included in this energy, 
They could be using love spells on you, for sure. Like, somebody is really in your energy field because they want a new beginning with you. Wow. And they want you to have their baby, period. They want you to have their baby. They could also be a single parent. Somebody is a newly single parent or they're just a single parent. Okay. But they're really wanting to manifest. You literally have the magician, the fool, and the empress back to back. Wow. Wow. I, I was also getting that somebody wants to make your dreams come true. Somebody wants to live a dream life with you and they also want to make your dreams come true. This is what dreams are made of. That's what I just heard. This is what dreams are made of. What is that from? Is that another song? Y'all, I've been singing all day. That's why I got, my throat is all raspy and sore. <laughs> I probably sound hoarse and off key and everything, but I don't care. I don't care. We have the Knight of Cups. Somebody wants to bring you a love offer. Now, look, you're going to have a couple people come into your life. See, oh my gosh, as soon as I look down. You're gonna have a couple people come into your life. Um, a couple of them kind of want to be back in because you up now. Some of y'all, y'all got up. I don't know. You had a promotion, an elevation. You looking good now. You lost a couple pounds. I don't know. And they want to come in and apologize to you. Um, this could also be friends. This could also be friends coming into your life. They want to give you an apology or give you a proposal of some sort. But for some of you. I just got don't trust it you're gonna know you're gonna know when it comes in you're gonna know not to necessarily trust it but for others of you wow the will of fortune I saw it and then it actually came out for others of you this is jackpot this is your love wow king of pentacles wow 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 <clears throat> excuse me there's a lot of money there's a lot of money on this table right now okay and I'm always, I've, I've been picking up money and love and purpose for a long time. So some of you are, um, you're established or you are establishing yourself and your partner is established or they are establishing themselves. For some of you, you you're wealthy or you're, you're coming into that. You're coming into great abundance for many of you. And for, for some, your partner is very abundant. You know, and they want to give you, they want to give you the best in life. They want to support your dreams. Like I heard, if you want um, a modeling career, they're going to invest in it. If you have your own business, they want to help you buy the products. If you want to act, they want to put you in touch with directors. Like this person wants your life to be easy when they come in. They don't, this is somebody that doesn't really want you to have to ever work. They really want you, they want to make sure that the work that you do is all of your hobbies and talents and your purpose. It's not work. You know what I mean? They want to set your life up in that way where you never have to work. Wow. Somebody is very, not only established, but they um, are very much so invested. I keep getting invested sponsor investment it's kind of like your love interest is also a sponsor they're your investor monetarily this is going to change your life completely y'all this is going to completely transform you on a way that is just not going to make any sense <laughs> For some of you, it's not going to make any sense. I feel like you're going to like pinch yourself a few times. Like, wait, am I, is this real? Yeah, it's real, baby. It's real. Wow. I wish you loved me. I'm going to literally listen to the song after this. Somebody wants to have your kids. Yeah, somebody wants, um, somebody wants to rewrite the past here. Somebody wants to go back. And rewrite the past. Oh, see, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh. So <laughs> I crack myself up. Somebody wants to go back and heal. They know that they hurt you, or they neglected you, or they plotted against you. They gossiped on you. They acted like they didn't love you. 
they acted like they weren't feeling you or they chose wrong somebody chose wrong yeah see wow wow look and then the sun again somebody chose wrong they realize that now it's revealed to them that they chose wrong and i say wrong right everything is right i feel like this person had to make certain decisions for their soul's development and you too maybe this is you maybe you feel like you chose wrong you know take what resonates wow look get rid of third party see somebody chose wrong that's very specific to someone's story okay and third party could be anything it could be job it could be nosy neighbors <laughs> you know do you like my mask see somebody was hiding how they felt about you they were hiding it also they had a lot of people in their life watching them through whatever means like checking their phone or following their car watching their house um but yeah this person was hiding who they really were like and they still could be hiding until they admit it to you I feel like you're not going to be interested in this person until they tell you the truth. You're like not even having it. And I feel like energetically they feel that and they're they could be staying away from telling you the truth because they feel they're they're not quite ready. They're not quite ready to say the truth, so they're not. But divine justice, we did have the um the justice card. Some of y'all are going to have exactly what you need in life, regardless of who, when, what, or where. You're going to have this life. Whether somebody broke your heart, or they, they ghosted you, or they didn't treat you like you deserve. The divine is saying that doesn't even matter, baby. Because what we have in store for you, honey, <laughs> all right, it's going to make your ex look like, I don't know, the weakest link I just heard. Whoops. <laughs> Yikes. Unrequited love. See? Hmm. Interesting. Somebody turned you down. At the bottom. Somebody had turned you down. Somebody left you. Somebody made it seem like you weren't a big deal. But you are a big deal, number one. And number two, you're a big deal to them. But they pretended. We have best friends forever. Somebody is in love with their best friends. Male or female. Somebody's in love with you. I feel like somebody's in love with you because of your your um, confidence, like I was saying before, or because of your light, your wisdom. I feel like they feel like you're so smart. Somebody, yeah, somebody really likes your intellect. I feel like the, you're the smartest person they know. Wow, remember I was saying gossip and slander? And also, I defend you. All right. This person could have definitely defended you. When their folks was like, I don't know, she crazy. Or he's he's a little, I don't know, he's weird. Or he, he still run the block a little bit. You shouldn't even, like, why are you with him? Or, you know, he's so hood. Like, why would you want to be with it? Somebody was talking junk. And I feel like you defended this person or this person defended you. Also, this person wants to be a protector and a provider for you. Like I was saying before, this Somebody really wants to take care of you. All right, let's get a couple more and then we'll wrap it up. So the divine message for the collective, um, this could be for the week. This is also a timeless message, y'all. So it could apply whenever you watch this. But I feel like four days, four weeks, four months, some of you are going to meet a love. Wow. I keep my eye on you by befriending your friend. Whether this is on social media, y'all, all right, or this is in the physical reality. Somebody keeps an eye on you by befriending your friends, seeing what you're up to. If people are commenting on your posts, this person looks them up. I feel like also this person is very possessive. And you may like that for some of y'all. Usually women who operate in 
and a lot of feminine energy. They 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 like a partner that is a little bit possessive, not owner, not a stalker, not like that, but more so very protective. I'd say they like the alpha male types, and not every man is an alpha male. There's a lot of men who think that they are though, which is kind of strange. But you know, for some, I feel like. You could have dealt with, um, we have human design. You could be studying human design. I put so many people onto human design. It's so amazing. But you and this person could have a matching human design. Uh, what was I just about to say? I forgot. But yeah, some of them, it's like... Some of them are alpha male. And for some of you, that's what I was going to say. You could have broken up with somebody who pretended to be an alpha male and you're going to actually get with the real thing. And you're going to be like, whoa. <laughs> Some of you are going to be like, oh my God. <laughs> like, this is new. Like, I like this. But yeah, this is a definite for many of you. This is your destiny. Your destiny is to be with a powerful love partner who honors you and loves you is loyal root chakra work on your root chakra or you have been working on your root chakra also i'm getting a lot of passion i was getting that before there's going to be a lot of passion between you two it's going to be off rip it's going to be instantaneous i feel like or when you met this person or when you will when you do meet this person um, there's going to be so much sexual chemistry. You're almost going to like be vibrating inside. Both of you though. This is going to be mutual. Or when you look at each other or when you talk to each other, you're, you're stimulated all over your body. It's a very beautiful soul connection. Non-stop high paying clients, baby. This is somebody's destiny. <laughs> this is somebody's destiny. I feel like you or your partner has the power to up-level each other's business or enterprise, I heard. You could have a, a, a dual business together. Plant medicine. Plant medicine. Maybe you guys grow shrooms or you sell them. Um, hemp, too, is what I heard. Um, you definitely journey together or you will journey together. Or some of you realized who your love interest was through um, a psychedelic experience of some kind. Or you went to see a shaman. Some of you could be getting with a shaman. Or you could be. See, I always get this. See, this is how I know who we're talking about. Chosen one. And also health and wellness. Remember what I was saying before? Somebody was working on their health and their wellness. It could absolutely be their mental health, not just physical health. Okay? I feel like I'm gonna put pull a plant oracle card too. Yeah, wow, look at that. I just noticed that. Ace of Wands, and then we have wow, look at all of these. So much passion. See, this is what I'm talking about. I'm just noticing these cards. So much passion. Somebody could be trying to block how they feel about you. They've been blocking it for so long. But this is 1111. Oh, excuse me. That's uh the three of wands. So this person is absolutely watching you. And just in case we didn't know that they were, they were. You have the spy card, literally. They're watching you. And also this person could have somebody watching them. As this person is watching you, somebody's watching them watch you. And you're watching this person watch you. And you're watching another person watch them watch you. Like, it's just so much going on here. You could absolutely be a seer or an oracle, a priest, a shaman. But that's a lot of passion going on right here. A lot of passion. You also have somebody who does not want you to have this new beginning with this person. Somebody does not want you to be in love with anybody else or find a new person before they're able to get to you. Damn, the plot thickens. Somebody does not want you to meet somebody new and fall in love before they're able to get up the courage to tell you how they feel. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. You're going to have to get a personal reading for that, baby, because that, that's, that's deep. The energy that I'm just feeling right now is kind of deep right there. Threatened by you. Remember what I was saying? Wow. Somebody is watching them watch you and they're threatened by you. You're a threat. You're a whole problem.
It's like somebody knows that their partner or their ex or their love interest, the person that they want, their crush, doesn't want them and they want you. Somebody knows this and they're just completely enraged. I got it. Somebody is enraged by that. They don't like that. They don't want to see you. I feel like this person watches you anyway. They don't want to see you win at all. But they definitely don't want you to be with this person. And they watch you to see if you are going to be with this person. Let me get out of this energy. Because I can't deal with it. People be just... It's just strange. Backstage tickets and your energy is addictive. I'm getting with this. Like I said, many of you are meant to be... Um, Stars, you're in the public spotlight. Somebody wants to get next to you because you're in the public or they like that or they feel like you can add to their lifestyle. For others of you, like I was saying, you and this person share a similar purpose or a lifestyle. And also this person watches you because your energy is addictive. They just want your energy. Um, I just actually recorded a message about calling your energy back to you. But um, because I feel like many of you, you could be drained, you could feel drained just because you have a lot of people accessing your energy. And then look, big bags of prosperity, honey. Yes. Like I said, there's a lot of coin on this table. There's a lot of seat and I opened up to yes. Yeah. Many of y'all, you're pardon me. You're you're meant to um you're meant to have a lot of money. Yep. Yep, you're meant to have a lot of money, my love, okay? Because like I said, I was feeling it, I see it. And then we have the oracle cards to confirm this, that this is this is your destiny too. I just saw divine justice again. This is coming in for you. You're meant to have this. Nothing and no one can stop you from having this. This love, an amazing life. Somebody wants to make sure, I feel like they study you to make sure they, they know how to approach you or what you like. They want to know what you like so they can present it to you. And I'm getting, with that, I'm getting a high vibration though. A high vibration. Somebody genuinely loves you and it's balanced. It's even, it's not erratic. Some of you though, you do have somebody who is in love with you and they're completely unstable really um yeah i've been saying that for quite a bit this could be a neighbor who watches you they're obsessed somebody is obsessed i get obsession often like y'all know who, who those who have been watching these videos obsession has been coming up quite a bit and like i say your energy is addictive and you have a few people who are obsessed with you in a higher vibration because of what you bring to them you're a light you help them heal um and they're in love with you in a high vibration so i mean obsessed wouldn't be the word for them just highly intrigued in love right might be the word um this is a romantic reading right but for others this obsession is literally like borderline breaking laws kind of thing like breaking spiritual law and breaking man-made laws they could be stalking they could be hacking they could like i said i you know the card the oracle card that came out was i i follow your friends so i could watch you somebody wants to be close to you they want to know what you're doing they want to make sure you don't have someone in your life you do have it like real talk y'all you do have an energy that's um unstable too it's been coming up health and wellness too i keep you know i just saw that again somebody's mental health needs to be evaluated because of that i feel like somebody who lost you somebody who lost you is like unstable because they don't have access to your energy anymore this could be a friend too. Yeah, wow, okay. Some of y'all had a friend who probably didn't tell you that they were in love with you 
And then whatever happened, the relationship ended, and now they're, like, unstable. I feel like they were always unstable beforehand, but I feel like you've, you've triggered this person. Like, you've, like, activated the psychosis or something. Like, you know? And I'm not trying to be funny at all. Like, I, I say all of this with compassion for, for these people. Because, you know, and I know for a fact this is going on in y'all lives. I know for a fact it is. Because... <laughs> y'all tell me you know so this is happening to people interesting all right my loves i feel like that's that's enough right now that is the divine message for the collective if you're going through a situation that's kind of um i don't know if you're going through a situation and you need some guidance definitely book a reading with me um, if you need to clear your energy, definitely get one of the, the rituals that I have. Um, if you're needing, ooh, I just saw a flash over there. If you're needing, um, if you're needing, um, help with like finances or anything i also have rituals i have a money ritual in the store section of my website um if you click on the esoteric shop you could just go through the things to um the tabs to get to the store section i have a downloadable money ritual that really works y'all um and yeah just Stay in high vibrations, y'all. Hone in on the things that you want. Don't focus on the psycho ex. Because I feel like many of y'all, you do have this in your life. Or the psycho best friend or ex-best friend. Don't focus on that. Focus on the things that you want to call into your reality. And, um, and stay in high vibrations. So that is the divine message for the collective. Again, my name is Tiara Chardé. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and I will see you on the next one. Peace and love.